What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally today, when it comes to watchOS 8.5, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have beta 2 of watchOS 8.5. At the time I'm recording this video, since I'm a developer beta tester, I'm able to see you today. But if you're a public beta tester, you should be able to see this update tomorrow or the day after and you can see here for me on my apple watch series 7 that i'm updating the update size comes in at exactly 265 megabytes and that's because i'm updating from watchOS 8.5 beta 1 and obviously this is not all that apple released today if we head over on to the apple developer page you'll be able to see some other updates that apple released today so they released mac os 12.3 beta 2 as well as ios and ipad os 15.4 beta 2 and of course watch os 8.5 beta 2 this is the video for this and tv os 15.4 beta 2 now most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half men half tech so if this is something that you want to keep up to date with and know what's new with these updates then a sub to the channel would really be appreciated now like i mentioned i've already updated my device to watch os 8.5 beta 2 so if we go into the settings and go to general and go to where it says um about you'll be able to see the version that we have and it's 8.5 is the version of course since this is watchOS 8.5 and the build number that we have has been incremented by 3 since the last update had an H at the end so the build number with this version is 19T5 223e so we now have an e at the end and before that it was an h so that's about three steps in the positive direction which is a good thing and also something that i want to show you if we go back to see some of the new features and changes that came with this update the first one that i would like to highlight for you has to do with the wallet app now this that you can see here is an apple pay card that i've uh, added to my device and you can see also some of my um, vaccination card that i've added and you can see some of the qr codes that i you know have when i buy devices and go to pick up at the apple store but it seems like when it comes to watchOS 8.5 this is something that's not going to be limited to just like QR codes or your vaccine card or your bank card but there's more features that are going to be coming to watchOS 8.5 and if we, I was to show you here on my device into the photos I saved the picture and a big shout out to Steve Moser over on Twitter so he found code that references some new features that are going to to be enabled in the future it's contained in the code of this update and it basically mentions a phrase that says find out when your driver's license or state id is ready to use and get important updates when this is supported so as you can see this is obviously going to be working alongside local authorities they have to govern this and authorize this to be able to be recognized as something that's legally so you will soon be able to use your state issued id or your country issued national id or your driver's license and add it to your wallet app something that's very similar to what i just showed you here in the wallet app how you can add different bank cards or if it's your you know vaccination card or even a qr code so similar thing is going to be coming to watch os 8.5 hopefully it won't just be referenced code and like steve moza mentioned over on twitter it will be something that's great that's going to work as well as on watch os 8.5 and ios 15.4 which is the latest beta of ios out at this time that i'm also covering on the channel by the way so very excited for that feature and it will just help us you know make our physical wallets smaller 
in a sense now obviously like i mentioned in my first beta video for watchOS 8.5 some other new features have to do with support for emoji 14 characters so some these are some of the emoji 14 characters that you are seeing here and for you to be able to see these emojis you have to be on ios 15.4 and alongside that you have to update your watch to watch os 8.5 if you send such emojis to someone who hasn't updated their devices they won't be able to see them because their devices haven't been updated to watch os 8.5 previously with watch OS 8.5 beta 1 a number of people were actually complaining that Siri was not working so they would say the phrase hey and then say the name and sometimes it would work upon request when you just you know lower your risk and then you raise your arm you can activate Siri without even saying the phrase to activate him but sometimes there was an issue with that and since I've updated to watch OS 8.5 beta 2 so far for me I haven't had an issue with this so hopefully if, you, if this is something that you were facing they have uh, fixed this for you now again I have to give more credit to Steve Moza over on Twitter Twitter because he did find out some other things that I forgot to mention on my first initial video of watchOS 8.5 beta 1 and you can see that watchOS 8.5 beta 1 changes clear trusted computers to removing trusted computers will delete all the records of computers you have paired with previously so this is something that you do and you connect your device and pair it with the previous computer you can see that it will delete all records of the computer you've paired with previously and also since this is a thread you can see that uh, watchOS 8.5 beta 1 finds uh, find my app has been updated to find my safety alerts so you can see the code that sort of references that and find my safety alerts name which has been correspondent to find my safety alert so it's an update and this really doesn't have to do with many ui changes that you are going to see or new watch faces and so on it's more of some code changes that have been made when it comes to watchOS 8.5 now when it comes to the release notes of this update i just want to show you what apple told us here quickly because they really haven't been saying much when it comes to watchOS 8.5 beta 2 so you see the release notes and it just basically tells us to update our application and software to be able to enjoy the new application interfaces and you can see that you know there is a non issue where Siri may not properly recognize the user speech on Apple Watch Series 3 although some of the complaints that I've received in my DMs were actually like Series 5 and 6 so it seems like it's a wide variety of devices that were affected and you see most of these notes are actually from beta 1 so beta 2 nothing much has changed when it comes to the release notes that apple has given us now when it comes to battery and performance i would like to rather show you that on my watch since i feel like it's it's more relatable so if we go into settings and then go to uh battery right there just give it a moment to load you can see that it was last charged um to 100 percent around uh 120 and right now it's almost 7 p.m so around six or so hours and you can see that i have uh 84 percent so in a sense i've used 16 percent of charge from the time i've uh, charged it to 100 percent it's it's fair it's not the best um battery performance it's average so not too good and not too bad sometimes i do uh such hours because um, sometimes i do do such hours with less usage because i update and then i do some research to find out what's new and then i put it into practice by going into the features and settings trying to see what has changed with the update so you can see my battery usage and maximum health you can see that it's still on 100 percent so far with the apple watch series 7 it's actually 
in my opinion holding up the maximum capacity better than the apple watch series 6 so 100 percent when it comes to performance i really can't complain you know my applications are opening up as they are supposed to my rings the data is reading as it's supposed to only from time to time you notice that there's some delay in loading some applications and so on so i don't know whether maybe i need to power cycle my device again because i updated and started researching about what's new and so on so performance wise it's okay i can't complain about what i'm getting now let's talk about like the release date of this update because a number of people are actually asking when is watchOS 8.5 expected or going to come out and as you can see here on the calendar it today is actually february 8th and if we go to the yearly view I would say that this update of watchOS 8.5 is expected sometime late March to about early April. So you can see that we still have about a month or so to go before we can see watchOS 8.5 being released officially. So second half of March or first half of April, that's when I would expect this update to come out to the public and to those that have supported devices. Now, other than that, that, guys this is how it's been for me on my apple watch series 7 let me know whether you're going to be updating or not but yeah this is watch os 8.5 and it's the second beta that i'm on you can see the version and everything and my device is up to date if i see something new that uh, uh, you need to know about then i'll definitely let you know on twitter or i'll do a video about it now stay safe and check out my other ios as well as mac os update if you want to keep up to date and i will definitely see you there peace